Okay, so this is the arc furnace I've got. And in a previous video, I showed melting some copper. After that, I also melted some iron, but the iron pour didn't go extremely well. I burned myself by picking up the furnace and pouring it, even through the thick leather gloves I was wearing. And so I've devised this little contraption to help avoid that. As you can see, I've got a lid, and actually that lid used to be a furnace until it cracked. When I melted copper, I actually cracked the furnace, but in my design, which is loosely based on Grant Thompson, the King of Random's design, one fire brick is cut in half and then used as a furnace and lid combo. When it, one furnace or lid is done, then the rolls are reversed and the lid becomes the new furnace. So as you can see here, the underside has become very melted. This happened when I melted iron for the second time, this time more successfully. Inside the furnace, there is some black, kind of melted fire brick from the iron pour. This iron pour went much better. As you can see, this was the result of the first iron pour. So this is the sprue right here, and this right there was the gate. Kind of went like this in the sand. And as you can see, the um, right angles aren't extremely sharp and it really didn't go far at all into the gate, so that's kind of why it failed. The second time, this is the result. As you can see, it's got a great surface finish on that sprue. It's got some really nice right angles, just really smooth, it's awesome. It also didn't fill much of the gate, as you can see there. And there's kind of some bubbles here, but it worked much better, and I have a feeling that if I try this again using an open face mold, kind of like pouring an ingot, it should work great and give me the iron tile I'm hoping for for my element collection. And then inside the furnace you can also see there's kind of like a bubble of melted fire brick and when I chipped it open I saw that inside here there's kind of this like nugget of iron and then there's kind of some little bits of melted fire brick bubble. So it's pretty crazy. I actually melted fire brick and had it sort of floating around on top of the molten iron. And this is the result when I poured out the iron. There's kind of like a little shelf of melted fire brick or once molten fire brick. And then to avoid burning myself again and to also help me successfully cast iron this time, I devised a kind of little handle. And so as you can see here, there is a large 2x4 and then wooden clamps that are glued on holding it in place. And then underneath there, there are wooden standoffs that hold it up to be the right height for these aluminum brackets, which go into small pockets carved in the fire brick. There and there. And there's also a hole here cut in the aluminum for the pouring spouts so that the molten metal goes over it instead of through this, because molten iron eats through anything. And this worked really well for the second iron casting. I really didn't have any problems. The wood just smoked a little bit, but otherwise it was pretty much just like pouring soup out of a ladle. It just went really smoothly. The iron was completely liquefied and it provided a nice handle so that I didn't burn myself. Another thing that happened in the iron casting of the first time was I almost burned myself holding the electrode grips. And so to fix that problem, I made up some leather, or er, sorry, jeans, fabric, kind of uh, handles for the electrode grips. And so then I can hold it like this without ever having to touch the metal. There's a, about a good inch of jean fabric there. And then you have to kind of set the grip with the electrode first before you wrap it but it's just one long strip of jeans fabric and then I just seal it up with some tape. So you can see there's also like some molten iron globs kind of stuck to the um, electrode. I wonder if that was like splashes or just vaporized iron. Um, so that's pretty much what happened for the second iron casting and the improvements worked really well. I didn't have any problems, used a face shield and Next time I'm hoping for success.